Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making a guide on how you obtain the Greed Authority. So if you don't know what this does, while you have it equipped, basically you get the powers of Regulus and you negate all incoming magic damage. And if you click with it, you also do what Regulus does and do that like small attack. Very, very good ability and currently the literal only authority in the game. So first off, the way you obtain this is a little bit annoying. There's a full quest line and the drop rate on it is terrible. First, you must obtain the literal greed authority itself, so the person that drops this is going to be Regulus. If you don't know where Regulus is, you must come to the left side of the main spawn in World 1 and make your way over to the heights. Once you are in the heights, just cross the lake that's right in front of the entrance and you will find Regulus. So Regulus is a little bit annoying to kill because you can't use any magic, you just use, must use your M1 attacks. So the Blessing Wardo is very effective for this because you can time freeze him and then get a lot of attacks off. And then another thing that's very effective for this is actually using the Blood Sword with the Elucidator. What this does is give you a lot of M1 damage and the Blood Sword's ability, basically you damage yourself and then you do a a bunch more damage for a short amount of time as you can see I'm doing 500 to swing with just one sword and this is pretty much the best way to kill him basically just kill Regulus over and over and over again until you see the greed authority drop once you actually get the greed authority from Regulus you must then start the quest line so to start the quest line make your way over to the massive castle to the right side of spawn in world one so the quest line isn't too difficult, but it can take a little while if you get unlucky with the RNG. The first quest is going to be given by Ren. What she's going to have you do is basically go to all of these trees around the castles outside the wall and activate their crystals. So a lot of trees will have crystals like this activated. Some of them will have crystals like this that are not glowing. And all you got to do is find all the trees that have crystals that are not glowing and then click on them so that they are glowing and this will complete the first quest. Once you complete that quest, you must then go inside the castle itself. Within the castle, you will then find Rum. Rum gives you a quest to basically go fish 10 raw trout and cook them and then bring them back to her. Very, very easy. Just literally go to any river spot in World 1 and you will be fine. After you complete her quest, you then want to go back outside the mansion and then you want to go up to this like balcony ledge looking thing up here. So Leah is then going to give you the next quest. She's going to ask for her insignia. When you get this quest from her, come back inside. You want to go up these stairs right here, and there's going to be a boss up here that you must kill. It, she's around level 75, and it isn't a very difficult boss fight. This is the boss you're going to need to kill Elsa right here. Very, very easy fight. After you kill her, just go back to Leah and then continue the quest line. Once you have defeated Elsa and you have the Xenia, just come back up to Leah and turn in the quest. So the next quest giver is going to be within the castle to the left. Once you go through this door, you're going to want to go into this door right here. This door is going to have good old Zabaru. He's going to have you basically go get a gospel from the witches. So the witches that you must kill to collect the gospel, luckily enough, are the witches that are just right outside the castle. So they're going to be very, very easy to kill. The only problem is the gospel might take you guys a little bit to get, depending on your luck. It's literally just these witch cultists. Kill them until you get this gospel book. Once you get that gospel book, just return to Sabaru and then turn in your quest and he will give you the next step. And then you are now on the second to last step of activating greed. It is a little bit of a process. So now you want to come back down to the main lobby of the castle. Go to this hallway on the right. You want to go down this door. Once you're inside the next hallway, you want to go into this door right here. This door is going to have a massive library and then you're going to talk to Betty and then Betty is going to send you to the witch's tomb. And now you are finally going to be able to go into the witch's tomb and activate your greed authority. If you do not know where the witch's tomb is, it's at the Michael um, seasonal boss spawn spot, basically just in this cave area here. Once you have completed all of the quests and you have the greed authority, you can enter the witch's tomb and finally activate your authority. So it is a very, very long process but i would say it is a pretty powerful authority and it is the literal only one in the game right now so it is worth going after it's just a very very long process so all you got to do now is talk to donna and donna is going to have an option that says activate your authority the learn authority here i already learned it so you know it's not in my authorities you possess but anyways, that is how you unlock the Greed Authority. It is a very, very long process, and it will take you guys quite some time to obtain. But hopefully this guide helps you guys out. 
Anyways, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!